Hey everyone, I'm Caleb Ziegler. Yeah, I'm Tristan Ziegler, I'm Caleb's dad. And welcome to the channel. And today, we're gonna to talk about an essential part of many agricultural machines, the turbocharger. As we prepare for the spring planting season, it's crucial to ensure our equipment is in top shape. In this video, we're gonna cover the essential tips for maintaining and repairing your turbocharger. So you can keep your machines running smoothly all season long. Before we dive into the maintenance, let's quickly understand how a turbocharger works. A turbocharger uses exhaust gas to spin a turbine that compresses the intake air. This process increases engine horsepower and efficiency. Key parts include a turbine, a compressor, and an intercooler. However, our tractor is a little bit older than the intercooler days, so we don't have one. Here we are with a newer tractor. This is what your intercooler would look like if you have one on your tractor. Knowing these components will help you understand what to look for during maintenance. Regular maintenance is key to extending the life of your turbo. Here's a few checks that you should do routinely. On this tractor, this is where you check the engine oil. And when you pull the dipstick out, we just change the oil so it's really not too dirty, but you can see contaminants on it in the light. And this tractor has a oil plug here that's a magnetic oil plug. And if there's anything going wrong in the engine or turbo, you'll find metal filings on that plug after you drain the oil. So if you hear something in the engine or you suspect the turbo uh, is going bad and you see the contaminants in there, that's telling you something is wrong that you have to look at. And make sure you use the correct grade of oil. This one is 15W40 and it's recommended on all the older diesel tractors. Key to engine longevity is keeping your oil clean and that includes proper filters on your tractor. Uh, this tractor has two oil filters, a primary filter and a secondary filter. So on our filters we write how many hours are on the tractor and how many hours the hydraulic filter was changed. You want to keep your air filter clean um, and not dirty and clogged because it reduces the flow of the air to your turbocharger and as it gets clogged it'll reduce the performance of your turbocharger and it could actually lead to the failure of your turbocharger. So here's your intake pipe to the turbo. It keeps your air clean to make sure that the air coming into the turbo that's going out into your intake manifold is clean. Your coupler here is a silicone coupler. That's the pressurized side of the turbo. This is non-pressurized. So this is just pulling air in. This builds up the pressure with the exhaust gas and forces the air into the turbo. So you want to inspect your, your pipes to make sure everything's connected tight. There's no cracks on the inlet side and on the outlet side. Your coupler's on tight. Uh, there's not excessive wear on it and it's not dry rotten. Otherwise, you're going to have a turbo leak. So an important part of your turbo is the oiling system. So the oil comes into the turbo. It has to oil the spline that your turbine's spinning on. And the oil comes back out and then back into your engine. So you want to make sure that you're getting oil to your turbo. Otherwise, it will self-destruct. It'll just freeze up. Um, and the oil's coming back into the engine. And one of the things we've had the problem with with this turbo is that you can tell it's going out is it's starting to blow oil all, all around it and you can hear noise coming out of it. If this were a newer tractor or a car, you'd have a wastegate that you'd want to look at. You want to make sure the actuator opens and closes the wastegate appropriately. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to impact your performance. It should make sure the linkage is not bound up anywhere on it. Sometimes, no matter what you do, you still run into some issues while maintaining a tractor. Here are some common problems and how to solve them. If you notice a decrease in power, check for boost leaks in hoses and intercooler connections. Listen for a hissing sound that indicates a leak. Blue or black smoke from the exhaust can indicate an oil leakage into the combustion chamber. Inspect the turbo seals and the oil supply line. If you hear grinding or squealing noises, your turbo may need immediate attention. Inspect for debris in the housing and check to make sure that there's no play in the shaft. If your check engine light's on, that means you could have a boost pressure issue. You can use diagnostic tools to figure out the code and follow up with repairs as needed. Now let's get into a scenario where you need to replace your turbocharger. This could be due to significant wear, complete failure of your turbo, or if you just want to upgrade your turbo for more horsepower. I'll walk you through the process step by step. Before you start, make sure you have the proper safety equipment and always make sure you stay safe while working. First, we need to remove the old turbo by taking off the intake and the exhaust pipe. Keep an eye out for any damaged couplers that need to be replaced and you're gonna replace your turbo manifold gasket as well as your oil cooler line gasket, which are included with what Friday Parts gave us. 
If you're new to replacing a turbocharger, make sure to label your hoses and connections so you can put them back on properly. Now you have to adjust your turbo housing by loosening the bolts off of the back so your angles are the same. So when you hook up your hoses, everything's gonna line back up as original. Now we have to clean off that mating surface where the gasket goes. Before installing your new turbo, make sure you check around your components, where your turbo hooks up, your oil line, uh, your air intake system, and if anything looks like it needs to be replaced or looks like it's worn, replace it now. Any dirt or foreign objects can cause catastrophic failure to your turbo. So this is why we put a rag on the part that's going into your air intake system. We do have another component we need to replace, which is your oil return line that goes back into the block. So we're gonna do that now while we have everything off. It's time for a new turbo. Make sure to use the new gaskets. Before installing your new turbo, make sure you pre-oil it. So you're gonna put oil down your oil tube and go ahead and give the turbine a little spin there. And that way it makes sure you're not starting it dry. Make sure all of your bolts are torqued down to your manufacturer's torque specifications. This is crucial for preventing leaks. After reconnecting your intake and exhaust, make sure to check the connections that they're tight. Make sure none of the lines are bent or pinched. A proper connection is vital for optimal turbo performance. Before you start the tractor, don't forget to change the engine oil and filter. A fresh supply of clean oil is crucial for the lifespan of a new turbo. All right, it's time to start the tractor, but first we'll disconnect the ignition so we can build oil pressure before starting. Once we see the oil pressure build up, we'll reconnect the ignition and start it. Let it idle for a few minutes to make sure that it's operating smoothly. Look out for any warning lights or unusual noises. That's it, you successfully completed changing a turbocharger. Regular checks and maintenance can help you avoid future issues. If you're not comfortable working on your turbo or the problem persists after many attempts, don't be afraid to consult a professional. They can offer insight and repairs that are safe and effective. Thank you for joining us today as we explored turbo maintenance and repair. Remember, a well-maintained turbocharger leads to better efficiency and a longer lifespan for your equipment. If you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Happy farming and see you next time.